Our hope is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will go to the altar of God, to God who gives joy to my soul. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. My dear brothers and sisters, let us confess our sins to God, and prepare ourselves, that what we might be found worthy to participate in this holy sacrifice. And now let us pause and make an examination of our conscience. Having confessed our sins unto God and asking for his forgiveness, I will offer the confidior. I confess to Almighty God, one and the Holy Trinity. In the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray to the Lord our God for me. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive our sins, and bring us unto life everlasting. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, you will again renew us, and your people will rejoice in you. Show us your mercy, Lord, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto you. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray, take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts, through Christ our Lord. Amen. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. He shows pity to the needy and the poor and saves the lives of the poor. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. 
Almighty God, you manifested the glorious divinity of your Son, Jesus, at his baptism in the river Jordan. May the brightness of his presence shine in our hearts, and may his glory be set forth in our lives. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today, on this, the solemnity of the baptism of our Lord, we take the first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased. Upon him I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the streets. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smolder, smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon, those who live in darkness. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The graduate for today. He shall judge between the nations and impose terms on many people. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. The second reading for today is taken from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites, as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened over all Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism, that John preached how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The sea beheld and fled, the Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs of the flock. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. A reading from the holy gospel according to St. Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. This is what he proclaimed, one mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open. 
and the spirit like a dove descending upon him. And a voice came from heaven, saying, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. After all the people had been baptized, and Jesus also had been baptized and was praying, heaven is opened, and the Holy Spirit descended upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. These words are taken from the Holy Gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen to you, my dear brothers and sisters, baptized in the name of the Holy Trinity. Today, in many Christian churches, the solemnity or the feast of the baptism of our Lord is celebrated. It is a most important time where we recall Jesus being baptized by John in the River Jordan. It is important for two major reasons. First, it marked and confirmed that Jesus was the Anointed One. And through this event, Christians come to know of the doctrine of the Holy Spirit, one God in three divine persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Outside of the Christmas story as told by Matthew and Luke, we know very little of Jesus' first 30 years. But on that day, Jesus was anointed with the Holy Spirit. During his, whole, his short ministry, he displayed the power of God through the Spirit in not only his teachings, but also in his many miracles. Upon coming out of the wilderness, Jesus entered the local synagogue, and when called upon, he opened a scroll to the place of Isaiah the prophet. And he proclaimed, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath anointed me. This is the proclamation that Jesus declared in the Gospel of Luke. I believe that God has a plan for the salvation of mankind. The events leading up to the birth of Jesus reflects this plan. Think back about the events that took place with the birth of John, the son of Zechariah and Elizabeth. Think about the visitation of the angel Gabriel visiting Mary and Joseph. So many things that Mary pondered in her heart. John the Baptist, whom Jesus called the greatest of prophets, gave testimony to the Christos, the Anointed One. He announced that, I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandal I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. You know, my brothers and sisters, baptism is a most important and an integral part of Christianity. For many Christian churches, such as our Polish National Catholic Church, it is a sacrament. Other denominations clear it as an ordinance. But whatever denomination you are a part of, baptism makes you a part of the one body of Christ and a part of the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Our baptismal font 
has baptized many of our congregants, their children and their grandchildren. It is the entrance right of being a member of Christ's church and being united with God. You know, when we stop to think about the words of Jesus in reference to baptism, did not Jesus say to Nicodemus in the Gospel of John that unless you are born of water and of spirit, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven? For us, baptism is being washed in the living waters. Did not Jesus give a great commission to the apostles before his ascension into heaven, in which he says, Go forth and teach all nations what I have spoken unto you, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The importance of baptism is reflected also in the writings of St. Paul. In his letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, verse 26 through 28, Paul speaks. So in Christ Jesus, you are all children of God through faith. For all of you who were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave or free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. We see that baptism is a unifying force which brings all into a new life, being clothed in Christ. St. Paul makes reference in his letter to the Romans, and he says, Don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death, in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. We are connected with Christ in baptism, and a special communion makes us one with the Father and with His Son through the Holy Spirit. The transforming power from death to life is reflected in being reborn unto Christ. And Peter said in the book of the Acts, chapter 2, verse 38, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Galatians chapter 3, verse 27, we read, For as many of you as were baptized into Christ have put on Christ the death of the old self and the rebirth of the new is reflected in the words that we say during the liturgy of baptism. Paul reminds the Corinthians in his first letter he says, For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews and Greeks, slaves or free, all were made to drink of the one spirit. So, my dear brothers and sisters, on the solemnity of the baptism of our Lord and Savior, we celebrate not only the baptism of the Lord, but we also celebrate our own baptism which makes us one through him, and with him, and in him. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised by all of us, now and forevermore. Amen. I 
I be healing and walk on God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. Receive, Father Almighty and Eternal God, this immaculate host, which I, your unworthy servant, offer to you, my living and true God, for my countless offenses and omissions, for all here present, for our nation as well as for all faithful Christians living and dead, and for all humanity. May it be for us a means to salvation and everlasting life. Lord God, you endued us with great dignity and worthiness. Through Jesus Christ, you exalted, renewed, and sanctified us. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we worthily partake of this holy oblation, in which our Savior gives himself as food for the world, and in deepest truth unites himself with us. We offer you, Lord, the cup of salvation in your mercy. Look upon your faithful people and accept this oblation of praise, petition, and adoration for our salvation and for that of the whole world. Lord, receive us who bow before you in contrition and humility and grant that the sacrifice be so offered in your sight as to be pleasing to you, Lord God. Come, sanctify our almighty and eternal God, and bless the sacrifice which we have prepared for the glory of your holy name. I wash my hands in innocence, and go about your altar, O Lord, singing aloud a song of thanksgiving and telling all your wondrous deeds. O Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Sweep me not away with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men men in whose hands are evil devices and whose right hands are full of bribes. But as for me, I walk in my integrity, redeem me and be gracious to me. My foot stands on level ground. In the great congregation, I will bless the Lord. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Receive this offering, most holy Trinity, which we make in the remembrance of the passion, resurrection, and ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. And in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, that it may add to their honor and aid our salvation. May they whose memories we honor on earth intercede for us in heaven. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good, and for the benefit of his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord our God, you presented your beloved Son to the world at the River Jordan. May we who bring you these offerings now walk in the newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Almighty Father, accept the prayers we offer for our departed sister, Mary Durkee. May the offering, this offering, unite us with your son's offering on the cross, which brings about to all of us eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your poor hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just so to do. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. For at this time we celebrate the triune revelation. Jesus was revealed to the Magi from the east, yet while being a child he was worshipped. He was revealed to all people at his baptism in the Jordan. And you, Father, and the Holy Spirit give witness to his divinity. He revealed himself to his apostles in Cana of Galilee, making manifest the power of God through his miracles. And so, therefore, on the solemnity of his baptism, we join with the voices of the angels and archangels, with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and spotless sacrifices, which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. In our prayers today, let us remember the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed, all those who are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as their families. Let us remember in prayer and give thanks for the many doctors, nurses, first responders, and health care workers who fight daily for others. Let us remember in our prayers all abused and neglected children in our world as well as all those who suffer from violence. Let us also remember and be thankful for the blessings of those who serve in our armed forces, both here and abroad. 
And finally, for all here present whose faith and devotion are known to you, for whom we offer or who offer up to you this sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for the hope of salvation and deliverance and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God, we join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin, Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people through Christ our Lord. Amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. The day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment so brave for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven to you, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you. In like manner, after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, and his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy and accept them as you receive the gifts of your just servant Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you a holy sacrifice in immaculate host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember your servants, Mary Durkee, as well as all the faithful departed who have gone before us with the sign of faith and who now sleep in peace. To these souls, Lord, and all who rest in Christ, Grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, light, and peace through the same, Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, 
so part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs and with all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy and with lives patterned after their divine master merited eternal joy. Numbers in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses through Christ our Lord. Amen. By whom you always create, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him. All honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Instructed by our Savior's teaching and following the divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, and all your saints. Grant us peace in our day. Supported by the help of your mercy, may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give unto you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant it peace and unity according to your holy will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free me from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me faithful to your teaching and never let me be parted from you, who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be caused for my judgment or condemnation. Though I am unworthy to receive this great sacrament through your loving kindness, may become my safeguard and healing remedy. My saving master, awaken in all of us a living faith, fervent love, worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. I will take the bread of heaven, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? 
I will take the chalice of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. With high praise will I call upon him and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now offer this prayer, which is the act of spiritual communion. Let us pray. Most loving Jesus, I adore you in the most blessed sacrament in which you are truly present. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart and heal my soul. I embrace you and unite myself with you. May I never be separated from you. Inflame my heart with the fire of your love, my Lord and Savior. Amen. Lord, what we have received unto our lips, may we perceive mentally, and may this temporal gift become to us an everlasting healing. May your body, O Lord, which I have received, and your blood which I have drunk, Cling to my innermost being, and grant that no sin remain in me, in whom these holy sacraments have nourished, who lives and reigns with God the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, forever and ever. Amen. Can you drink the cup that I drink, or be baptized with the baptism with which I am baptized? The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Heavenly Father, grant that we have been baptized into Christ and nourished by this Eucharist. May rejoice as children of God and servants of all. Through Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, O merciful God. Through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our sister and blessed memory, Mary Durkee, whose anniversary of death we honor this day, be joined with you in the New Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit and art one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Thanks be to God. May the tribute of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the one worthy, have offered in the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. 
Through your mercy may be effective for myself and all those for whom I have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory be to you, O Lord. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning, through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness of darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe, but only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light which gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. And he who did accept him, he empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, I thank you for sharing with us today's Holy Mass, in which we pray for one another, in which we pray for our great nation, and for all the intentions that we offered during Holy Mass. We will conclude this morning's service with the offering up of prayer as well as remembering our dear sister and blessed memory, Mary Durkee, on this, her first anniversary of passing, as well as for all our faithful departed. May God be with all of you and your loved ones uh, in this beginning of a new year with health, happiness, and prosperity. God bless you now and forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And for the repose of the soul of our late departed sister and blessed memory, Mary Durkee, as well as for all those who have died in Christ, eternal rest grant unto their souls, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them. May they all rest in peace. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.